Hi, welcome to Ease in Prayer, episode number 28. I'm Tammy Sorensen. Today I was inspired by a seminar, an online session I took last night in bioenergetics and quantum biology. It is such an exciting time to be walking the earth and seeing how our Heavenly Father is revealing taking the veil off so many mysteries about how fearfully and wonderfully we have been made. And they are making great inroads in quantum biology and bioenergetics research, especially with light, frequency, sound, and water, specific to our bodies being fearfully and wonderfully made to heal themselves. And so today's session, I wanted to read from Psalm 139 and a couple of scriptures Holy Spirit has highlighted to me specific to my psalming at the end with a holistic frequency infused instrumental Holy Spirit inspired piece. I felt prompted to play in 174 Hertz today, very instrumental to tuning in to our bodies and their ability to communicate electromagnetically through light and frequency and sound and water. And we are made up of water and blood and how all of that impacts us is so profound. So I want to begin with Psalm 139 because we have been fearfully and wonderfully made. And there are a number of people right now contending for healing, which it's always our Heavenly Father's will to heal. Always. Yeshua purchased healing with his broken body that we celebrate in remembrance of him when we take communion. And so I want to focus on releasing and activating his now word. And I'll explain that in a minute too. Psalm 139 says, Lord, you know everything there is to know about me. You perceive every movement of my heart and soul and you understand my every thought before it even enters my mind. You are so intimately aware of me, Lord. You know and read my heart like an open book and you know all the words I'm about to speak before I even start a sentence. You know every step I will take before my journey even begins. You've gone into my future to prepare the way and in kindness you follow behind me to spare me from harm of my past. You have laid your hand on me. This is too wonderful, deep, and incomprehensible. Your understanding of me brings me wonder and strength. Where could I go from your spirit? Where could I run and hide from your face? If I go up to heaven, you're there. If I go down to the realm of the dead, you're there too. If I fly with wings into the shining dawn, you're there. If I fly into the radiant sunset, you're there waiting. Wherever I go, your hand will guide me. Your strength will empower me. It's impossible to disappear from you or to ask the darkness to hide me. For your presence is everywhere, bringing light into my night. There is no such thing as darkness with you. The night to you is as bright as the day. There's no difference between the two. You formed my innermost being, shaping my delicate inside and my intricate outside, and wove them all together in my mother's womb. I thank you, Father, for you making me so mysteriously complex. Everything you do is marvelously breathtaking, It simply amazes me to even think about it. How thoroughly you know me, Lord. You even formed every bone in my body when you created me in the secret place. Carefully, skillfully you shaped me from nothing to something. You saw who you created me to be before I became me. Before I'd even seen the light of day, the number of days you planned for me were already recorded in your book. Every single moment you are thinking of me, how precious and wonderful to consider that you cherish me constantly in your every thought. Oh, Father, your desires toward me are more than the grains of sand on every shore. When I awake each morning, you're still with me. O oh, Jehovah God, Elohim of Elohims, Adonai, Yahweh, your desires toward me are more than the grains of sand on every shore. See if there is any path of pain I'm walking on and lead me back to your glorious everlasting ways, the path that brings me back to you. That is such a profound scripture. I love the word. It always sends a word that always accomplishes what he sends it to do and it never returns void so that no weapon formed against us can prosper. And in Jeremiah, he quickened to me this morning, Jeremiah 17, 14, where it says, Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved for you are my praise. And every time I create a spontaneous peace at Holy Spirit's leading, I think of the scripture in Jeremiah, Jeremiah 23 verse 29 that says, is not my word like fire 
that consumes all that cannot endure the test, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the most stubborn rock in pieces. And that is an inheritance scripture to me because the piano uses hammers to create the frequencies, the different sounds, the different pitches. And when it strikes, that's when we hear, that's when we receive the frequencies coming in and it's the same with his word. So I combine the two together to activate, to awaken, to release what Holy Spirit has inspired me on behalf of whoever's listening, whoever's seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness, seeking him to be healer today, seeking him to be comforter, today. There are so many needing comfort and strength and wisdom and counsel and understanding and all that we need can only be found in him and I give him all the glory and all the praise. And I bring it back to the bioenergetics in the quantum realm because everything about him he created with his word, with a frequency, Holy Spirit hovering, making that vibration. And Jesus, Yeshua, is the word that brought it all into existence. And when I read Psalm 139, we are a part of that. We are fearfully and wonderfully made by his word, by his frequency, by his son. We can come into all that he is because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. So I want to be an encourager, an uplifter, an edifier for all who are seeking him to be the healer today, Jehovah Rapha, for all who are seeking him to be the comforter because Holy Spirit is the one who guides and leads us into all truth and who comforts us in a way that no other can. And so many are in need of that. I just want to awaken and activate it on behalf of those who are searching for him to be who all he alone can be. And in that, be abundantly blessed. Mm -hmm.